Hello everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, I'm Monia. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Um, today we're going to do a metal tutorial. First, we're going to do the hammered metal because metal's got different textures. So the hammered metal, we're first going to do with some texture and the studs that you normally find in metals. Then we're going to do a gradient smooth metal with different colors and how the light will fall and where the sun will catch the metal then we're going to do the smooth metals where I didn't didn't do the gradient so I can show you what will be relief in metal and damaged bits that you can do as texture Can you all hear me? Hi Kenny, hi Michelle, hi Rain. Nice to see you all here. Okay, so we have different textures in metal that we're going to do today. Hi Lisa, Cassandra. Okay, let me just zoom out a bit so you all can see me, okay? In also um, the gradient the way that it falls and a little bit of damage on the smooth metal and then the hammered metal with full texture with studs in it with damaged bits and then the flat sides with the relief of the embossed bits with the damage and also where the light will fall on the relief bits and that's why I didn't put the gradient into the bottom section but only on the sword and in the hair okay so let's start and you all received your charts from the groups that's in the events from face to color event and color my dreams thank you Kenny OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you all can see more clearly what I'm doing. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, first of all, we're going to start with, I will add the colors just after the stream. Uh, first is gray green light, PC289. Hi, Sonia. So because you have a smooth surface and I'm, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail. I will give you a lot of detail, but you can really, with metals, you can really almost do two two-hour streams explaining just smooth metal. So the basics is you will have light catching the smooth surface. And then also you have reflective colors that also comes into play when doing smooth metals. So that's why there is so much. Hello everyone, can you hear me? No, this is the right one. I don't know why it's doing this. Hello? Is everyone here? Hello? Is everyone here? Can you hear me? Hi, Sammy. Hi, 
Hi, Paula. Hi, Cassandra. Okay, now I'm using my really short white, PC938. So I'm highlighting just the light areas of the reflection where the light will catch the smooth metals. Okay, so first we're going to do the smooth sort. And for those of you that just came in and didn't see uh, or didn't hear what I was saying before, is we today we're going to do the smooth metals with the gradient light and how the shadow will fall. For example, here where the darker areas is in the light and how it will affect with the bottom section of the sword. Then there will be the hammered metal. And the hammered metal will have the studs and the textures. Then the flat surface with the embossed relief that also comes into play with metals. And some damaged areas. That's why I didn't put in the gradient at the bottom. So I can explain it nicely. And also just the light with just plain uh, metal rings in the hair. Is the sound better now, Mandy? Hi, kids. Glad to see you here. Hi, Kat. Oh, sure, Mom. So sad to hear that, Sammy. Here will be the light area on the hand or the top section of the sword. Then there will be a light section coming in from the side. You can do it left to right, right to left, straight, vertical or horizontal. It all depends on you. I've decided to use the right to left. So I just put in my white. Thank you, Pam. Hi Loretta. The next color is Pale Sage PC1089. So right next to the light area you will put Pale Sage. Or oh, I've decided to use more greener tones, but the greener tones is only to complement the hair color. So basically, you can also use blues if you feel like doing blues.
I'm so glad, Mandy. Next is eggshell PC 140. So you, with smooth metals, there's so many reflections happening on the smooth surface. So you have your light that's coming from the left hand side that will catch onto the top side. So that's why I use the eggshell right at the top and right next to the light reflection area and on top of the light area here. And then also the light of her hair will also reflect onto it. So that's why you also have on your side that you would think is a darker side, there will still be light reflection in it. Hi, Mum. Hi, Samini. Hi, Catherine. Okay, next color is Sap Green Light PC One Twenty. So now I'm just adding some more green just for on the highlighted sections of the gradient before it shades into the grays. Mm. 